Welcome to Stellify. In our world, quite often events shape society, often bringing in stronger rule and control over populations. Could it be that a soul murder in 415 AD of a pagan noblewoman bring about the destruction of Gnostic mystery schools and strengthen Christian control? In the heart of Alexandria, Egypt during the tumultuous 4th century AD, lived a beacon of knowledge and wisdom named Hypatia. Born into a world on the cusp of transformation, Hypatia would become a renowned mathematician, astronomer and philosopher. Her brilliance illuminated the Library of Alexandria, a repository of ancient knowledge and a testament to human curiosity. Hypatia's father, Theon, was a celebrated scholar. He instilled in her a deep love for learning and critical thinking. She excelled in her studies, surpassing even her father's expectations. Her reputation as a polymath spread far beyond Alexandria, attracting students and scholars from distant lands. As a philosopher, Hypatia embraced Neoplatonism, a school of thought that emphasized reason, logic, and the pursuit of truth. She saw no contradiction between faith and reason, believing that both were essential for a complete understanding of the universe. Her teachings challenged the rigid dogmas of the time, advocating for a more inclusive and tolerant approach to knowledge. Hypatia's brilliance and unwavering pursuit of knowledge made her a symbol of enlightenment. However, her open-mindedness and challenges to established authority would ultimately lead to her tragic demise. Her story is a stark reminder of the fragility of intellectual freedom and the dangers of unchecked fanaticism. The Roman Empire, once a bastion of power and order, was crumbling from within. By the 4th century AD, the empire had split with the Eastern Roman Empire centered in Constantinople gaining prominence. Alexandria, a vital port city in Egypt, found itself caught in the cross currents of political and religious upheaval. The rise of Christianity as the dominant religion within the Roman Empire brought with it profound societal changes. Christianity, once a persecuted sect, now held sway over the levers of power. This shift in power dynamics fueled tensions between different religious factions, particularly between Christians, pagans, and followers of other belief systems. Amidst this volatile backdrop, Cyril, the Archbishop of Alexandria, emerged as a powerful and ambitious figure. Cyril, known for his fiery rhetoric and unwavering commitment to Christian orthodoxy, viewed any challenge to his authority as a threat to the church itself. He saw in Hypatia, a respected intellectual with ties to paganism, a potential obstacle to his vision of a unified Christian society. The seeds of conflict were sown. Alexandria, once a melting pot of cultures and ideas, was becoming a tinderbox, ready to ignite at the slightest spark. Hypatia, with her unwavering commitment to reason and her refusal to conform to rigid dogma, would unwittingly become the target of Cyril's ambitions and the embodiment of the clash between reason and religious zealotry. The political landscape of Alexandria was as complex and treacherous as its harbour. Orestes, the Roman prefect of Alexandria, represented the waning authority of the Roman Empire. He found himself caught between maintaining order and appeasing the growing influence of Archbishop Cyril and the Christian Church. Cyril, however, was not content with sharing power. He saw the Roman administration as an obstacle to the Church's dominance. His ambition extended beyond the pulpit. He sought to control all aspects of, as, of Alexandrian life, from the spiritual to the secular. Hypatia, with her close ties to Orestes, became a pawn in this power struggle. She was a symbol of the old order of intellectual freedom and tolerance values that Cyril viewed with suspicion. Rumours were spread that Hypatia's teachings 
were corrupting the youth and undermining Christian unity. She became a scapegoat for Cyril's political ambitions and the anxieties of a society grappling with rapid change. As tensions escalated, Cyril used his considerable influence to turn public opinion against Hypatia. He painted her as an enemy of the people, a heretic who threatened the very fabric of their faith. The stage was set for a tragedy, a brutal act that would silence a brilliant mind and cast a long shadow over the pursuit of knowledge for centuries to come. In the year 415 AD, as the Lenten season cast a sombre mood over Alexandria, the simmering tensions finally boiled over. A mob, whipped into a frenzy by religious fervour and fuelled by the venomous accusations spread about Hypatia, lay in wait. As Hypatia made her way through the city streets, her chariot was ambushed. The mob, their faces contorted with hate and fanaticism, dragged her from her carriage. They stripped her naked, a symbol of their utter disregard for her humanity and her achievements. With a brutality that shocked even those accustomed to the violence of the era, the mob attacked Hypatia. They used shards of pottery, ostraca, to flay her flesh from her bones. Her screams were drowned out by the roar of the crowd, their bloodlust echoing through the once vibrant streets of Alexandria. Her body, broken and mutilated, was paraded through the streets, a gruesome spectacle meant to serve as a warning to anyone who dared challenge the authority of the church. Hypatia's death was not just the murder of a woman, it was the assassination of reason, tolerance and the pursuit of knowledge itself. The murder of Hypatia sent shockwaves throughout the intellectual world. It marked a turning point in the relationship between faith and reason, signalling the rise of religious intolerance and the suppression of intellectual freedom. The Library of Alexandria, once a beacon of knowledge and a symbol of human achievement, was ransacked and burned. Countless scrolls containing the accumulated wisdom of centuries were destroyed, their ashes scattering into the winds of ignorance. The pursuit of knowledge, once celebrated, was now viewed with suspicion and fear. Scholars and philosophers, particularly those whose views did not align with the prevailing religious dogma, were persecuted, their voices silenced. The flame of intellectual inquiry, once burning brightly, began to flicker and fade. The legacy of Hypatia's murder extended far beyond the confines of Alexandria. It cast a long shadow over the development of Western thought, ushering in an era of intellectual stagnation known as the Dark Ages. The pursuit of scientific inquiry, philosophical debate and artistic expression was stifled, replaced by fear, dogma and unquestioning obedience. The immediate aftermath of Hypatia's murder saw a chilling effect descend upon Alexandria. Fear and suspicion permeated the intellectual atmosphere. Scholars once eager to engage in open discourse and debate, retreated into the shadows, wary of suffering the same fate as their slain colleague. The once vibrant intellectual community of Alexandria, a hub of learning and innovation, began to wither. The flow of ideas, once a torrent, slowed to a trickle. The pursuit of knowledge, once considered a noble endeavor, became fraught with risk. Cyril, having eliminated his most prominent critic, consolidated his power. The church, now firmly in control, began to dictate the boundaries of acceptable thought. Those who dared to question or dissent were branded as heretics. Their voices silenced through intimidation, exile or worse. The murder of Hypatia marked a turning point in Western history. It signaled the beginning of an era where religious dogma often trumped reason and inquiry. The consequences of this shift would be felt for centuries to come, delaying the progress of science, philosophy and human understanding. 
The tragic demise of Hypatia serves as a stark reminder that the pursuit of knowledge and the freedom to think critically are fragile and precious. A story, though rooted in antiquity, carries profound lessons for the modern world. In an age where information is readily available, it is easy to take intellectual freedom for granted. Yet, history teaches us that the suppression of knowledge can take many forms, from outright censorship to more subtle attempts to silence dissenting voices. The rise of extremism, fueled by intolerance and a rejection of reason, poses a constant threat to open societies. It is a reminder that the battle between knowledge and ignorance is never truly won, but must be fought anew by each generation. Hypatia's legacy calls upon us to be vigilant in defending intellectual freedom, to embrace critical thinking, and to challenge dogma and intolerance wherever they may arise. Her story is a stark reminder that the pursuit of knowledge is not a passive endeavor, but an active and often courageous pursuit that demands our unwavering commitment. Despite the brutal attempt to extinguish her legacy, Hypatia's spirit of inquiry and her dedication to knowledge continue to inspire. Her story serves as a beacon, reminding us that the pursuit of truth and understanding transcends time and circumstance. Though much of her work was lost in the destruction of the Library of Alexandria, Hypatia's contributions to mathematics, astronomy and philosophy are still celebrated. Her commentaries on classical texts help preserve ancient knowledge for future generations. Moreover, Hypatia's life and death have become a rallying cry for those who believe in the power of reason and the importance of intellectual freedom. She is a symbol of resistance against dogma and a testament to the indomitable spirit of human curiosity. Hypatia's story is a testament to the enduring power of ideas. Though her voice was silenced, her legacy lives on, inspiring generations to embrace critical thinking, challenge the status quo, and continue the pursuit of knowledge without fear or reservation. As we reflect on the life and legacy of Hypatia, we are reminded that the defense of intellectual freedom is an ongoing responsibility. It requires constant vigilance, a willingness to speak out against injustice, and a commitment to fostering a society that values critical thinking and open dialogue. We must challenge attempts to silence dissenting voices, whether they come from governments, religious institutions, or any other source. We must be willing to engage in respectful but robust debate, even when it makes us uncomfortable. Education plays a vital role in fostering intellectual freedom. By equipping future generations with the tools of critical thinking and to be fearless in embarking on a journey for true knowledge of our reality, we can help create a world where knowledge thrives and intolerance withers. Let us honour Hypatia's memory by embracing her spirit of inquiry, by defending the freedom to think, question and explore. Let us create a world where knowledge is celebrated, where reason triumphs over dogma and where the pursuit of truth is a shared human endeavour. Let us ensure that Hypatia's sacrifice was not in vain and that the flame of knowledge, once nearly extinguished, burns brighter than ever before. We hope you have enjoyed this video. Could it be that this is one of the greatest historical crimes that has shaped our society? Would our world be any different if this event hadn't have happened? Tell us in the comments below.